Now here's a test for you. Think of a computer geek and what comes to mind. Uh, jeans, hoodie, glasses, possibly a beard. Um, definitely a guy. Uh, the computer industry has grown to be something of a male preserve, but its origins actually were quite different. In fact, a woman, Ada Baron Lovelace, has been credited with writing the first computer program. She developed it during the mid-19th century to calculate so-called Bernoulli numbers. Uh, the things are rather different today, though. With more girls than ever pursue girls' uh, careers in science, fewer girls seem to prepare to enter computer careers every year. In fact, despite an increase in awareness of the problem, the number of women in computer science has fallen by 20% in the US in the last 10 years alone. Researchers say that undermining stereotypes could help tackle the problem. Well, let's take a look at this with uh, Belinda Palmer, who is the CEO of Lady Geek, a creative agency that addresses women's perspectives on technology. Welcome to the programme. So what do you think is behind these numbers? I think there's a big problem. So as your report said, the number of women in technology is declining, um, despite an increase in consumption. So we see girls everywhere using social media. Um, and at the heart of the problem is the feeling that they don't belong in the industry. The problem with the technology industry is it's constantly telling girls that you don't belong here, you're not welcome. Um, there's an image problem. And how is that message conveyed? Well, it's conveyed not intently, but through subtle cues. So, for example, the image problem. Um, I asked girls, teenage girls, to draw pictures of a technologist. 95% of them drew men. You know, the perception amongst girls is that people who work in tech are pizza-guzzling nerds who cannot get a girlfriend. Um, and, and that is having a really big effect because the girls that we speak to in schools, they don't relate to that. So that's one problem, is the image problem. The other problem is the environment. You know, they think they're going to work in these very uncreative, boring environments, sitting in a darkened room doing binary code, when the reality is, I mean, Google, Facebook's offices, they're fantastic. You can scoot about. You know, they've got flotation room relaxation tanks. You know, these offices are very different. So, so you think it's purely an image problem? I I think a lot of it is an image problem. I mean, it starts at school. I mean, I have a son and a daughter, and it's very easy to kind of, with my sons, you know, my husband will say, let's play Minecraft, and with my daughter, he'll say, let's watch My Little Pony. So it's, it's very easy to start this. I don't think it's just an image problem. I think it's a complicated problem, but at the heart of it is that girls don't feel that they belong in the tech industry. Which, of course, is a loss um, to all parties concerned. But there is, you know, in, in an age where we seem very focused on trying to say that everybody's brains are wired differently. Is there a case for saying that men's brains are wired towards technology more? There is a case to saying that we are different, but if you think about who's consuming technology, so the fastest growing se uh, segment on Facebook is women. Twitter now is 62% female. So women are consuming technology. Do we really want an internet? Do we really want social media that's just built by men? Hmm. I think the answer to that is no. So what do you do about it? So a lot of what I've been doing is looking at the small things. So very small things. I used to think you need big, huge budgets. But actually, some of the small transformative things you can do, very simply. So in education, for example, the layout of the classrooms, making girls sit together in clusters, encouraging collaborative learning. Um, even the posters we have of Ada Lovelace in our computer science labs, they make a big, big difference. And even language. I mean, one FTSE 100 company changed the word from technology manager to digital manager in a job ad and increased the, the amount of women applying by 30%. So it's all the small things that we really need to start thinking Is about. Is there enough incentive from companies to try to attract women? Do you think that they recognise that they may not be getting the best talent unless they do? I think it's changing. So Google coming out publishing their diversity figures was a really big step, even though they were appalling. That was a brave step, and the other companies have followed suit. So I think there is a desire to change, but I think we need to start looking at these small things, because they will really inspire girls. I want the next Mark Zuckerberg to be female. Thank you very much.